Watch Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Court Clopping joins us now. Court, it's been one of those just gloomy winter like weeks out there. And we're wrapping it up, but it doesn't really seem like much uh, relief is in sight. Yeah, we've got, uh, well, a little bit of a break ahead, but then this weekend, it's really going to ramp up again. And that's something you do need to keep your eyes on as we move through the next couple of days. Now, some showers lingering tonight, mainly in the north end of the valley. So, Redding or the northern mountains, seeing some showers this evening. Mostly dry on Friday, with the exception of those two areas as well. In the morning, after that, we are dry for tomorrow afternoon, but staying cloudy out there. And then a rain and snow moving back in mainly late Saturday through Sunday, and it looks pretty substantial, and that's why we have a winter weather advisory going into effect for Shasta County at 10 p.m. Saturday, lasting through 10, 10 p.m. Sunday. For the Sierra locations above 4,500 feet for Shasta County, that's 3,500 feet, 4,500 feet for the Sierra. That starts at 7 a.m. Sunday, lasting through 10 p.m. Sunday night. So the issues we're facing, 5 to 10 inches of snowfall projected. Some isolated areas and higher elevations could see up to 18 inches of snow moving on through. So travel impacts very much likely Saturday evening through Sunday night. Getting a look at what we're seeing this evening. Most of the showers, again, very light, so not a whole lot of impact tonight. Limited to areas for Shasta County towards Oregon and the coast. And then getting a look at what we're seeing moving forward. This first system heading through the northwest right now. That's mostly wrapping up for us. Heavier showers are to our north. Then another system winding up to take aim at Northern California. Moving on through for your weekend. So getting a look at that hyperlocal future cast over the next 48 hours. Overnight tonight, we're still seeing potential for showers in Shasta, Siskiyou, and Trinity counties. Tomorrow morning, mainly Shasta County seeing the brunt of it in the morning hours for the valley. Not a whole lot expected. We're mostly dry tomorrow. Saturday, that's when the next band of moisture moves on in. That one looks to be pretty substantial. It's going to move in Saturday night and last through the day Sunday, and the amounts are expected to be pretty substantial out there. Temperatures overnight dipping into the 30s for the northern mountains, back into the mid to high 40s for tomorrow afternoon with the chance for showers mainly early in the day. Not looking as likely for the Sierra and Cascades. Temperatures tomorrow in the mid 40s to high 40s for your afternoon. Foothill areas dropping into the low to mid 40s overnight, low 50s to mid 50s for tomorrow afternoon. Cloudy skies, not really expecting much of a chance for showers. And mid 40s in the valley overnight, very mild. A chance for showers this evening in areas like Redding. Tomorrow morning, potentially see some showers in Redding to Red Bluff. Mid 50s for the afternoon, mid 40s for the mid valley overnight. Cloudy skies, not expecting more showers on the way, and just cloudy tomorrow with those mid to high 50s for the afternoon hours. Your Storm Tracker seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. We're seeing temperatures in those mid to high 50s with cloudy skies tomorrow. For the first day of winter, we look mostly dry until the night. Saturday night, we'll see the rain returning in a pretty big way, but an inch of rain projected for parts of the valley through Sunday night. Again, snow levels becoming very low and heavy, 35 to 4,500 feet into Sunday and we're going to see the heavy showers during that time. Dry Monday and Tuesday and then it does look like we'll see another chance for some showers moving in for Christmas Day next week. Looking like a gray Christmas. Very gray. Compromise. Yeah. Thanks, Court.